This is Tanner Gray, also known as Topsail Tanner. I'm here today to bring to you a very controversial topic about parking and the particular issues for each town. In 2021, both North Topsail Beach and Surf City implemented parking uh, regulations. That means you have to have a pass or a permit to park and they give you a multitude of options. North Topsail Beach, you have an option to pay by the hour or by the day at any one of their designated spots. They are five dollars per hour or 25 dollars a day you get a season pass for 150 but make sure if you're going to get for two vehicles to do it at once everything's done online and if you do one car log out for 150 and do another they're going to charge you another 150. if you do them both at the same time they give you a discount of fifty dollars so you're able to have two cars at 250 dollars for the year the north topsail beach parking you can see just the ample amount of parking there is here it goes all the way down there right behind us this way so there's a lot back there that's pretty much already starting to get full and we are not even close to into peak season it's very spread out it's very residential here so there's not a lot to do other than beach but if you want space i wouldn't recommend coming to this lot i'd look for some smaller ones because this beach will be crowded the second city that we have is surf city surf city has the most expensive parking it's 300 dollars per vehicle there's no discounts on numerous vehicles if you're a non-resident of surf city if you're a resident of surf city these come for free i bought the parking pass a few days ago so they'll go in there and they'll give me a sticker and i'll show you where they're going to have me put it showing you going into the actual building which used to be the old police station. I, I paid for a parking pass. I have a question for you. I have a Jeep that never has a top doors or anything on it. Where would you like to put the sticker? So just like that, easy as can be. So the lady is there instructed me to put it on the bumper. I don't mind paying for the parking because I understand what goes into it. We choose to come to Surf City because of all of the commercial that's located right here. We are at access number 15, Surf City. Right here, you'll see that there are bathrooms. Also over here, if you get your stuff all sandy, there's a washed out station. This is one of the extra reasons why we like coming to New Bern, but don't mind paying because we use these facilities and such. They need to be paid for. We'll take a walk over and see what the beach looks like. Here we are at the top of uh, Beach Access 15. You can see the location to the pier. It's a really nice beach, uh, easy to park, You've got your bathroom. There's also a nice little sitting area behind you if you wanted to come here in the evenings. I always say you got to pay to play and, and unfortunately, you know, I, I'm not a resident of Surf City, so I don't pay Surf City taxes, so I don't mind paying for the pass. We'll show you what the designated parking spots look like, so they're very easy to identify. As you can see, they designate by the yellow bumpers here, but this is one of the bigger lots, and then we'll get to some side streets. <laughs> the town wanted the 10 foot right to create more parking spaces. They try to create as much parking as they can so everybody can enjoy the beach. Surf City parking, there's some places better than others. This is on the main drag. It's two blocks away from the beach. So imagine carrying all your stuff and getting back here. Everything's sandy, everybody's crying, their feet hurt. Make sure you try to get here early enough and you'll be fine. Topsail Beach is the most southern part of the island. It's its own township and it has one area where there's paid parking. That's at the very southern tip of the island where we shot our last video where you can walk around to the point down by Serenity Point. This is the only paid parking in South Topsail. First come, first serve. It's $5 per hour and $25 a day. They also have facilities for bathrooms here. Point and click and find out all the information, enter it and pay, and then you'll be good for the day. Now there are public accesses down at Topsail Beach or South Topsail, which are not, you do not have to pay, but those get filled up very early. This is actually 1A of Topsail Beach, which is also known as South Topsail's uh, beach access. This is actually a handicapped beach access, which is really nice. This is free parking for anybody, any time of the year. So there's basically every one of these public accesses that they provide are free. So they get filled up, as you can imagine, are the first ones basically to get filled up. You need to be sure to be careful where you park or you're going to get a ticket either way. I've seen it done uh, a lot. So they're there always monitoring. Thanks for watching. This is Tanner Gray, also known as Topsail Tanner, and this is my island.